10. He goes back side, he goes for six. What power, what poise after a slow start for Aaron Jones. Nice shot again in the gap, in the gap, Aaron Jones. The St. Lucia Kings at the third time of asking have reached the promised land. Their ultimate conquest is now achieved. They are the Republic Bank CPL champions 2024. Nine. Local members of the victorious Caribbean Premier League champions for 2024, St. Lucia Kings, backroom staff and player of the league, Noor Ahmed, Return to St. Lucia Monday evening to an official welcome. The trust that you have put in, in me, the leader of the franchise, um, enabled and given me the, the leeway to, to mold this team and, and build a culture. Um, but culture is not built without a process and without people buying into it. As minister, I continue to ask for the support before we become the actual kings and queens of the universe. Right now is the time. Invest in our school sports program. Invest in our football and semi-professional league. Invest in our cricket and the SPL that is coming up very soon. Invest in our young people. Eight. The St. Lucia Tivet Council has been facilitating training and support in competency-based education training, CBET. The focus of that cycle of training is to create capacity within the delivery system, the TVET delivery system. And part and parcel of the training focused on competency-based training, which targeted the teachers um, that are going into the four secondary schools that are dedicated um, institutions for technical vocational education and training. Seven. 287 St. Lucians celebrated their achievements at a graduation ceremony held at the National Cultural Center, marking the completion of a three-month, no-cost training program. The graduates successfully finished courses in bartending, community tourism, customer service, data operation, food and drink restaurant service, computer graphics, general office administration, and housekeeping. Everybody seated here today has the potential to achieve greatness. For you, this certificate that you'll be receiving here today is just the beginning of magical things that will happen in your development. Six. To further enhance the reach and effectiveness of its social assistance programs and improve the targeting and coverage of assistance to vulnerable persons in St. Lucia, the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment has officially launched the Feedback Redress Mechanism, FRM. The FRM, part of a broader implementation of the National Social Protection Policy 2022-2030, provides an avenue for citizens and beneficiaries of social assistance to offer feedback or submit complaints about varied program services. As we strive toward excellence, we want to ensure that our people are heard and responded to. I'm confident that with this approach, it will certainly help strengthen our existing social protection initiatives and help boost the confidence of our service users. Five. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs recently hosted a pivotal workshop for dental practitioners aimed at refining strategies to improve oral health services across St. Lucia. There's so many ideas coming out of this program. Um, I would hope that we'd be able to do all of them. It's, it's tough because you know the staff complement is not very large, but everybody is excited about what can I do in my capacity as a hygienist, as a therapist, as a dentist, as a dental assistant. So that is what we're doing there right now. Four. In a vibrant celebration of community health and well-being, the Taiwan International Cooperation and Development Fund, ICDF, in collaboration with the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, hosted a community health day and family fund day at the Grace Playing Field. We are here with the support of the Taiwanese government and all of the officials of the ministry to bring education to another part of St. Lucia. We have been doing it throughout St. Lucia. We are here at Grace today. And we are going to be in other parts of Vifort North and other parts of St. Lucia. St. Lucia have a burden of diabetes hypertension. So we integrate the health screening for the residents. 
3. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs reaffirmed its commitment to the well-being of St. Lucia's senior citizens by hosting a special health and fitness session for residents of various homes for the elderly. So we want to remind people that no matter what level of mobility you have, no matter what step, um, age or, or, or um, stage in life that you're at, you still have an avenue to be active, to be fit. 2. The summit serves as a platform for exploring how AI can be harnessed to address local challenges, opportunities, and future-proof industries in the digital age, while also addressing key questions and concerns in new industries for this new wave may bring about. Artificial intelligence is not going anywhere. I think it's very, very important for our young people, for the next generation, to try to get ahead of it as much as possible so you could use it for your overall professional development as an individual and develop your community and then, of course, develop St. Lucia. One. Continue. Let the people of St. Lucia know the history, understand the culture, so they can know the future. Merci. Thank you very much. Any problem? Let's have one more song. For you. Oh,